It's extremely important to back up marginal EMMC before you attempt to desolder. At the very minimum grab the folder etc from the third partition. It contains the car keys and is important for VPN connectivity. You could also grab Tesla folder from the fourth partition because it contains your odometer. Besides the secret software only means you could use this provided pinout and something like easy JTAG to read the chip off the board without taking it off. Remove the metal cover and it will open up access to the chip we are going to desolder. This is uncommon, but Tesla used a smaller chip than the actual outline on the sealed screen. To help placing the chip back, we need to score the PCB around the current chip before we desolder. Be careful not to cut any traces. Remove the radiator from the CPU and place the entire Tegra board on the bottom heater. Apply flux around the chip. Careful when placing the temp probe. If there is any tension on any of the components, they will be moved as the solder solidifies under heat. Once the temperature reaches the melting point, carefully reach with the tweezers and take the chip off, trying not to actually disturb any other components, which is actually quite easy here on the Tegra board. Use desoldering wick to remove excess solder from the PCB. There should be none left. Then use isopropyl alcohol to wipe off excess flux so that the PCB is clean. Put a little bit of fresh flux where the chip is going to be located. Place the chip roughly where it should be on the PCB. Mind the number one pin so that it's oriented correctly. Then perform the chip alignment. This is the most tedious part of this whole procedure. We will carefully move the chip around to ensure that it's between the edges you put in before on the top and bottom and between two rows of the contacts on the right and left. Turn the heat on to solder the chip back in place.
as the temperature reaches the solder melting point, you will see that the chip drops down in place. Wait about 10 more seconds and stop the heat. Amazingly perfect chip placement is actually not a requirement. If you place it good enough, surface tension of liquid solder will pull the chip into the correct position. You can see it happening on the chip I deliberately placed incorrectly on a different board. But obviously still try to get as close as you can.